This is the sad, sad story of Julio Romeo. Hey man, get a grip, will ya? Yes, of course. Their families hated each other. So it was pretty dumb of Julio and Romeo to fall in love and get married. Um, and to you, Julio, take Romeo to be thy top secretly wedded wife. Sure, why not? Then I pronounce thee husband and wife. You may kiss it, the bride. Can't we just shake it, Hans? Um, very nothing. <laughs> Hi, mother. So it happened. The count arrived, and Romiette's mother insisted she married him. The count arrived, and I insist you marry him. See? There, I'm going there. Romiette, the count has asked for your hand in marriage. Just my hand? Doesn't he want the rest of me? Yes, you goofus. He wants the rest of you. And you shall marry him. But, but, I don't want to, but, but. No buts. Thy wedding shall take place tomorrow. If thou art paying attention, thou knows that Romiette already married Julio. In other words, she's in a real tough pickle. So she seeks the friar's advice. I got it! Thou shalt pretend to die, then Julio can take thou away, and thou shalt live happily ever after. Sounds kind of complicated. Are you sure it'll work? Thou better. Here, drink this potion. <laughs> Success. Now to let Julio know. Hmm, where dost thou suppose he went? Oh no, death hath claimed thy fair Romeo. I shall not live while thou dost not. Good thing I brought this my trusty dagger. <laughs> oh, rats! I knew this would happen! It says so right here in this boring book. Romeo died boredom reading Shakespeare. After the funeral, the fighting families resolved their differences and li everyone lived happily ever after. Well, except for these two, but that goes without saying. Sugar. Just can't believe the loveliness of loving